All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to ADW TV. Uh, we're going to be going through a tutorial today on how to undervolt your GPU. Reasons why you might want to do this is to boost performance while lowering temperatures and using less electricity. You know, there's no real, no reason not to do this to your card. It will uh, extend the life of your card, uh, use less power, possibly increase performance if you're lucky. Just a win-win overall for everybody. Uh, especially in these new 3090s and 3080s, the VRAMs and these things run extraordinarily hot. Uh, I would suggest if you're capable, tearing your car down or replacing all the thermal pads and the paste, uh, that would, you'd greatly benefit from doing that. But until then, this is a very simple solution for those who don't feel as comfortable doing something like that. So let's get right into this. Uh, first thing you're going to need to do so you're going to want to go and download MSI Afterburner. Okay. MSI Afterburner download right here. I've already got it. So you'll go to this site and just download Afterburner. I'll put the link in the description for you. Piece of cake. All right. Once you download it, first thing you're going to want to do, hit Control F. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, this is going to, your original fan curve is going to come up. A lot of people won't tell you to do this because you can reset it simply by hitting this to go back to factory settings. Uh, you can tell it simply not to load itself up at the start. All kinds of things. Personally, I suggest taking your original fan curve and saving it. Okay, hit save button, choose a profile. That's your original fan curve. Every, everything's normal with it. Okay, that way you can always go back to it if you feel like you made a mistake or something went wrong. All right, so then the other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna make sure you do this process while you are in idle, okay? Unfortunately, I'm not in idle since I'm recording and I've got background removal, or removal and all that other stuff going so you can see, you know, my clock's up a little bit. It's not down at idle, uh, but anyways, you will want to do this at idle so that your, your clock is cold. You can get the best uh, undervolt performance while doing this with your with your clock cold or your card cold. Sorry. Anyways, so if you you open up this fan this tip frequency curve uh, by pressing Control F, come to this little this last little dot. These represent your lines here where your millivolt right here lines up with your frequency, okay? X, Y, all right? Millivolts, frequency curve. So your max frequency is gonna be at 1965. Mine actually goes up to 210, but since this is warm, my, my whole curve has gone down. That's why I say you wanna do this when your card is cold, not when it's warm. Uh, but anyways, so if you go over here, You'll see this whole line is straight. Okay. So your frequency is, is set at 1965. That's the highest it's going to go. And the millivolt that it's going to hit when it gets there for mine is uh, 1093 millivolts. Okay. So that's where your power is reaching when you hit your highest frequency. The way you undervolt this, you simply go, you see where it drops down here. That frequency is at 1950. That millivolts at 1087. All you got to do, simply take this. You can hold on to it, uh, just click and hold, and you can drag it up and down, line it up with those. I find it much easier if you just use your area key, because then you can get the number perfect. And you're gonna, you're gonna probably want to do this one or two nodes at a time maximum do two nodes at a time you know don't want to do too many uh, after you move up your millivolts you go down you move it to your max frequency to line line these all nice and straight hit the l that will lock your frequency and that will lock your millivolts come over here hit the check mark to accept it okay this will just make sure all these do stay in line and this is how you undervolt. 
after you get this process done, simply go over, open up your uh, whatever kind of stress test you have for your GPU, whether it be 3D Mark Time Spy or the, the unit engine thing. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that yet, right? Uh, there's, there's several different things you can go out there to stress test your CPU. You're going to want to run tests, several tests, make sure that this is stable, that you're, you're not getting any artifacts, that your performance isn't dropping. Uh, and just every time you draw, come over here and you do that, run a test. Okay. After, after you've hit the check mark, you want to make sure you press L again to make that little green line go away. You don't want it to, the green line will lock your GPU here. So it will stay at this millivolt at all times. It won't, it won't idle down. You don't want that. <clears throat> all right. So I have already done this. So I know I can take it all the way down to 975. I can actually take this up. I like to keep it at nineteen sixty-five. And for me, this works well for most all of my gaming. And you see how I just did that again. I, I went to the nine to the nine seventy five millivolts, moved the node up, hit L to bring up this green line to lock it. Come over here, hit accept, and that flattened it all out. Okay. Now they're all locked at nineteen sixty five. This is at nineteen sixty five. Now when I go and I I play all my games or whatever I do, that's gonna keep it locked at this, or not locked, because unlock it. That will keep it at this frequency here and millivolt. It won't allow the millivolts to go any higher. You know, I just took the amount of power in my car down, keeping my frequency up. Uh, I could take this frequency higher if I wanted to, but in certain games that I play, when I hit my max frequency of 210 at any millivolts under a thousand I'll get a few artifacts so I keep it at this because I don't notice any FPS drop or anything difference do a few testing on your own see what works best for you depending on what games you play you could drop it down further I've seen some people with their undervolt all the way down to 850 okay the, the lower you get the undervolt while keeping things stable the cooler your system is going to be all right the other cool thing with MSI afterburner is you can come in here, click the little settings, click on your fan, okay? It's gonna look like this. You're gonna to wanna to enable user-defined software automatic fan control. That's gonna bring up this neat little chart. Okay, I've already set up my, my fan curve here. Uh, let me see if I can reset this all back to normal. Ah, oh, it keeps my fan curve, okay. So anyways, your fan curve will come up. Uh, I'm not really sure what yours is going to look like. I uh, don't really remember what mine looked like stock, but let's say you'll, you know, you're somewhere down here. And something like this. You can adjust your fan curve where factory, this thing comes at, it'll wait until this thing gets up to 83 degrees before the fans really kick in. Uh, I suggest finding whatever volume that doesn't bother you and simply cranking this thing up. I mean, it, it's not going to hurt anything to have your fans running at a constant 82%. If you don't hear that volume and it doesn't bother you, you can have your fans running constantly at a, at a hundred, you know, a hundred percent speed. It's not going to hurt anything. Your fans are meant to run and meant to run full speed forever for their lifetime. It's, they're not, it's not going to ruin them at all. Don't be afraid to set your fans at a hundred. That's fine. The, the more fan speed you got, the cooler your car is going to be, the better off you are. Let them run. Okay? If, you, if you can deal with that noise, blast it. Uh, so definitely come in here, play with your fan curve. You can't hurt this at all. This, again, x-axis is going to be your temperature. 
y axis is going to be your fan speed percentage. I personally don't want my card ever getting over 70 degrees, 72 about the highest. So once it, I personally like to take this and I'll find my 72 and I'll move this up to 90. Well, actually I keep it at about, I think 80. So 72, 80, okay. And then once it gets up to 80, I have my fan speed hit 90. That way, I don't ever have to worry about it. It's a pretty steep fan curve, but my, my temperatures stay way down because my fan curve is cool like this and it's not very loud and it doesn't bother me. And since I've undervolted my GPU, it has actually brought down any kind of coil wine uh, that people complain about too. So I have no problem with that, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's basically it. It's, it's very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Now it's, it's really simple. It's, it's, it's easy as just click on this, drag it up, click. Okay. Uh, run, run a test. You, you can't hurt anything with this. If you go, you know, the reason why I said, save your first original profile is because if you go too far and it locks everything up, you're. If it's a blue screen of death, you just reset your computer. It'll come back. Uh, factory settings, you you just open this back up, hit this, your little circle thing, you're fine. Or you can open up your saved profile, you'll be fine. Uh, if it just locks up your game, you can still go down to here and use your task manager and just close your game. So it's not gonna freeze anything where like you, you can't get into your computer and change things. You'll be fine. Don't be scared. Uh, what you don't want to do is don't start pushing these up above your factory uh, max clock speed because then you're overclocking things. You're going to start pushing power. You don't want to do that unless you know what you're doing. Then go for it. Now, there's a lot of other things on uh, MSI Afterburner to play with. You got your power limit you can turn down, core voltage, temperature limit. So here you can set the max temperature limit factory. It's at 83 and you can, you can turn that up or down, whatever you prefer. I don't know why you would want it above 83. Uh, I would actually turn this down. Maybe for some people, I don't reach that temperature, so I don't really care, but yeah, there's a lot you can do with this. This is great. Uh, you can underclock your memory. You can overclock your memory. Some people like to take their core clock and actually turn it up until they get their mini millivolt to where they want it to. Uh, so watch my fan curve here. If I take this and just move this whole thing up, see, I can click on the, go to 975, right? We wanted a 975. And let's say we want that at the 2000 megahertz. I can use this slider. See, and I can just slide that up to the 2000. That's about as close as I can get, just sliding. You can click on here and type it in too if you want. Some people like to do it this way. Hit it like that. Hit the L again to lock it. They go like that. And then they will take this. And they will take every node behind it. And they will just drag them down. Behold shift. Well, I guess that didn't work the way I thought it would. I guess you have to individually drag everyone down. This is why I don't do it this way. But some people swear by this way working better. I, I personally don't see the difference in it, but if you find it useful, it's another way to do it. See, that's what I mean by tedious. It just takes time. Move every single one. Nice and slow. Yep. 
directly and then it locked it here. And see, and then that still gives people, the reason why people like to do it this way is then your frequency gives a nice, a little bit more of a slope to it. So it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't want to see anything, any big jumps in there, right? So if, if, if you do this and you do it right, your curve should look like this, where it's nice and smooth curved. If you find that your curve has something in it looking like that, where you got a big gap, you did something low, wrong, you're gonna wanna fix that. You want a nice, nice smooth curve, okay? You don't want, you don't want big jumps anywhere. Let me see if I get like this, okay? This jump, that's not, it's not that good. You don't, it's not, it's not terrible, but you want a smoother curve if you can, okay? Like this one here too. This steep, I'm still working on this one. That's a little steeper than what I'd like it. This one's here, it's a pretty nice curve. So yeah, you, you just want to play with it until you get the curve right. But there you go piece of cake to undervolt your stuff. I hope that helped out. Um, anything else I can think? I can't think of anything else. All right. I hope that helped you guys. Have a good day. Talk to you next time.